So we've seen the last of up with people. Thank goodness. And we thought we'd seen the last of Dallas receiver Golden Richards, who retired after the 1979 season. But we tracked him down near the Rocky Mountains in Utah, where he's a single parent with two young sons. It's been almost 20 years since Super Bowl X, but Golden's first and last impressions are still fresh in his mind. When we got to the Super Bowl, we expected to win. We were so bitterly disappointed. We weren't just happy to get there. We really thought we should have won. Uh, and that was a great game, 21-17. Lynn Swan's the, you know, player of the game, and rightly so. But, uh, boy, that was a bitter pill. But it was, uh, it was such a different game, a Super Bowl. It's such a different game. And when you go on the field and just that, that wave of emotion, and whether it's fear, or it, well, it is. It's fear and it's excitement. It's anticipation. It's dreams come true. It's just everything magnified. As the Super Bowl became more and more commercial, the sky was filled with everything, from ads for personal hygiene products to, well, personals, none of which were official NFL sponsors. And it seemed like the Goodyear blimp was everywhere. Of course, back then, the Goodyear blimp was the only blimp in town, and every time you looked up, it was somewhere else. Actually, it posed a bit of a problem for our cameraman because when it passed overhead during the game, it literally eclipsed the action. Luckily for us, it didn't black out any big plays. One thing the blimp couldn't obscure was the bad blood between the Steelers and Cowboys. They were a very aggressive team, a very dirty team, very talented team. They didn't just get there by being dirty or playing dirty. It was just the regular stuff. If you're in the bottom of a pile, somebody trying to gouge your eyes out, trying to twist an ankle around or twist fingers or step on your hands or your arms, just the regular stuff. They were the most penalized football team in the NFL that year, and they didn't get one penalty flag in the Super Bowl. Yeah, they, they beat up on you. They beat up on you. I don't care if they're big or, you know, little. They're beating on you no matter what size you are. Richards was involved in a nasty battle with Steelers cornerback Mel Blunt, who outweighed him by 50 pounds. Roger Staubach overthrew a uh, pass to me, and I had stopped running, and uh, Mel Blunt stopped running, the officials stopped running, everybody's going back to their huddle. And Mel was behind me, and when he came by, he hit me from behind in the back of the ribs. His fist, you know, coming up from behind. He, had, he put something into boy, it hurt. I went down just like a, a, a sack of potatoes would go down. Just, I mean, I went straight to the ground. Boy, I just remember the pain. It cracked, I think, three ribs and broke two outright. I happened to see my friend Mel Blunt just beating Golden Richards to death, with, you know, nearly taking his head off several times. I think that uh, if you don't like cowboys in general, you probably don't like one named Golden uh, even more. You beat up on a guy named Golden, and who's going to hate you? <laughs> hey! Get him out of the game! Get him out of the game! And wrap open your eyes! The play had been over so long that we didn't even get it on our film. They wouldn't have done anything anyway. Not back then. It took a couple of years, but I got him back. A clip. An illegal clip. Didn't get him as nearly as bad as he got me, but it was the closest I could come. Did you remind him? Of oh, yes. What did you say? I just reminded him that I said this was, was the Super Bowl 10 and the ribs and just kept on going back to my huddle as he's laying on the floor. It's part of the game. Did he say anything? Well, he was kind of screaming at the time. He wasn't very happy with me. Wasn't very happy. Remember sideways? Oh, no. Yeah. We can. I got you, partner. Back in the mountain country of Utah, there are at least two people who don't remember or particularly care about Super Bowl 10. They're just looking for a way home, and Daddy's going to take them there. But you know what, son? I'll never let you down, okay? I'll never let you down. You are your brother. I'm not sure now. But for Golden Richards, this was a day of redemption. Two years earlier, he had his ribs broken by Mel Blunt in the Super Bowl loss to Pittsburgh. But against the Broncos, he was on the receiving end of some game-breaking razzle-dazzle called by Tom Landry. The place called Brown Right X Opposite Shift uh, tossed 38 halfback lead, fullback pass to Y, and it was on two. Bobby Newhouse threw the pass. Instead of carrying the ball, he threw the pass. And Bobby had just loaded up with Stickum. This is when you could have Stickum. 
And the fear of uh, the good Lord and Savior went through that kid's heart because he's trying to get that stick him off. We're trying to hide Bobby so that the, the defensive huddle of Denver doesn't seem trying to wipe off stick him. I had to laugh uh, because <laughs> that's the only spiral I've ever seen Bobby throw. And it came right down the row of lights. Right down the row of lights. It's right over the numbers on the field. It was absolutely perfect. Right in stride, and I'm at full speed. What a great experience. A wonderful experience.